Before proceeding, please make sure to subscribe to Angel Maniac and turn on the bell icon for upcoming videos. You can always support my work with your likes, comments and shares. For latest updates, you can join me on Facebook and Instagram at Dental Mania. For images and transcripts, please visit my Patreon page, the link for which is given here above. So, let's begin. In today's video, we will talk about mandibular lateral incisor. The mandibular lateral incisor is the second mandibular tooth from the midline. It resembles the mandibular central incisor in all aspects except for few differences. Please watch my previous video on mandibular central incisor to have a more in-depth understanding of this video on lateral incisor. Mandibular lateral incisor is slightly larger in all aspects than the mandibular central incisor. Just like central incisor, the lateral incisor also has four surfaces and an incisal edge. Let's study each surface and the incisal edge one by one. From the labial aspect, the tooth has an incisal, mesial, distal and cervical outline. The incisal outline or incisal margin slightly slopes towards the distal, resulting in a rounded distal incisal angle, which is opposite of the sharp distal incisal angle of the central incisor. This feature also creates a shorter distal outline compared with the mesial outline of the tooth. Also, the contact area on the distal outline is located more cervically than the mesial contact area but still both being at the incisal third. The contact areas on the mandibular central incisor, however, were located on the same level at distal and mesial margins. From the lingual aspect, the outlines are same as the outlines of the labial aspect. The cingulum, unlike cingulum of the central incisor, is more offset to the distal, which makes the curvature of the cervical outline offset towards the distal. From the mesial aspect, the outlines are same as the central incisor, except for the short depth of curvature on the cervical outline. From the distal aspect, the incisor cervical length of the tooth is slightly less than the mesial aspect of the tooth. The depth of curvature is slightly less than the depth of curvature on the mesial aspect. The root of the mandibular lateral incisor is same as the mandibular central incisor, including the presence of developmental depressions mesially and distally. However, the root of the lateral incisor has a greater root length and comparatively greater mesodistal and labiolingual dimensions. From the incisal aspect, the tooth has a labial, lingual, a mesial, and distal outline. Unlike the incisal aspect of the central incisor, the mesiodistal dimension is not straight. It curves towards the lingual in its distal portion. The incisal edge is not at approximate right angles to align bisecting the crown and root labiolingually, as was found when observing the central incisor. Furthermore, the cingulum appears displaced towards the distal. These factors give the crown the appearance of being slightly twisted on its root. I hope this video helps. If you think this video was really helpful, please hit the like button and share the video ahead. If you have got any questions or suggestions, you can write them down in the comment section below. Please subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell icon to get notifications on upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.